Let's suppose that you and your spouse are engaged in some kind of communication conflict. There's three potential scenarios here. So number one, both of you fight tooth and nail to make your point heard and you defend yourself at every turn. Scenario two, one person sees these warning signs so they fall on their sword and they end the conflict. Scenario three, one person recognizes the warning signs but takes proactive steps to redeem the situation before it leads to sin, thereby disrupting that cycle of sin. So the makeup of scenario three is possibly what Jesus had in mind in the Sermon on the Mount. So for example, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 and following, Jesus takes you from the external sin of murder to the internal sin of anger to the redemptive act of reconciliation. So see if you can notice this. He says, You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And then he goes on, I'm paraphrasing here, If you are bringing a gift to the altar and you remember your brother has something against you, go and be reconciled. Again, Jesus moves in three stages, from the external sin of murder, to the internal sin of anger, to the redemptive act of reconciliation. So what Jesus isn't saying is, you have heard it said, avoid external sins. But I say, you need to avoid internal sins too. Instead, what he does is he goes on to provide illustrations that highlight a point, that anger festers and heats up. So if I could give my own illustration, if you put a pot of water on the stove and turn it on high, it's going to boil. And so it is with anger. And Jesus knows this. And he wants us, his disciples, to be proactive, redemptive agents in our response to anger and those five other issues that he talks about after this. And obviously, that's going to require more than us just falling on our sword. To deal with that sin that boils, Jesus invites us to take proactive steps to reversing the inevitable cycle of anger. In these verses, it's go and be reconciled. So if you keep reading through the sermon, you'll see that Jesus addresses six total issues like this one. And in five of the six, he instructs some kind of extra redemptive measure. Now, he doesn't explicitly mention a redemptive step in his discussion on divorce, but I think it's safe to assume that Jesus wants us to handle that topic redemptively as well. If you like this video, be sure to like it below. That helps me out and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.